you can harvest kale anytime the leaves are big enough to eat. And this is, you know, this is a nice size. They're not overly tough, but we're going to remove the stems for our recipe today. And to harvest them, all you do is just take your scissors and snip off the leaves. Just like that. You can hold that, Lydia. Thank you. And then Lydia likes to collect it and put it in the bucket for me. And you just keep snipping leaves until you have as many as you need. And don't, you don't want to snip all the leaves from the plants because the plant needs energy to keep producing more kale. As you can see, here's some baby, baby leaves coming. So I'm not gonna, I'll probably snip one or two more leaves and then I'll leave the rest so the plant can keep getting energized. But as long as you just keep snipping the leaves um, a little bit at a time, the plant will keep growing and reproducing more and more kale. So you don't have to really worry about replanting your kale all summer. Here's all the kale that I need for my recipe. It's between four and five ounces. Now I'm gonna check it over and make sure there's no bugs. And um, I'm also going to wash it then I'm gonna to start to remove this stem. I've cleaned my kale, and now what I need to do is remove these really um, thick stems. And all you do is just kind of grab the leaves on that side, and then just pull that down. And you can remove as much as you want. I don't mind the end there, so I'm just removing this part. And the smaller the kale is, you don't have to worry about this quite so much. And now you can either cut this or you can tear it. It depends. I'm just gonna just coarsely tear this. Make it more into bite-sized pieces. Um, that way when you cook it, you don't have these big globs of greens and it's really hard to separate and get your fork and take a nice neat bite. So this just really helps with that. Now I'm gonna cut up an onion and you can either do dice, you can do slices. Um, it's however you like your onions in this. In a medium-sized skillet, I'm going to add the onion that I cut up, and then I'm going to add some bacon to it. Now you can use any type of bacon. This is um, just bits and pieces. It's called seasoning bacon, which is just, it's not really meant to eat um, plain because it's just the odd, odds and ends of the bacon that just wasn't very nice to package. Um, so you can use regular bacon or you can use the seasonings. This is what I had on hand. And I'm going to put about four slices in there and I'm just going to cook this. Um, I'm also going to add maybe a tablespoon or two of olive oil. Just like, and I'm going to say maybe one jalapeno pepper, maybe a half a jalapeno pepper. You're going to have to judge this on how much heat, how much heat you like. I'm going to cook this over medium heat and just let this start to caramelize. The onions are nicely caramelized and have cooked down. I removed the bacon so I can add that at the end of the cooking time. So now I'm going to add a half a cup of bone broth. I'm going to add all of the kale that I prepped and have all set. And then I'm just going to put the lid on this and let that cook for about five minutes over medium, medium low heat, just like that. And while that's cooking, I'm going to take my bacon and crumble it up. It's about halfway through the cooking time. I'm just going to give this a stir. Make sure it's not overcooked, but just wilting down nicely. Okay, and I'm going to let this go for about another two minutes. So it's been five minutes since we added the kale. And it's cooked down pretty well. Now you... I like it this cooked, but you can cook it more or less depending on how you like it. And you can see most of the bone broth is gone um, if you want it. So it doesn't have any juice, just keep cooking it for another minute or so and it'll just all evaporate. Or you can serve it just like this. When your kale is finished cooking, add the crumbled bacon back to the dish. 
and just lightly toss it, mix it in, and you're ready to serve this. This would make two nice sides or one meal for one person. <clears throat> Caramelized onions, bacon, and cooked kale. Thanks for watching. Please watch, please subscribe to my channel, Parsons and Parsimony, for more Whole Foods cooking. This one has a little buggy. I don't know if you can see that. We're just going to pick them off and throw them out. Here's another little wormy. There's a spider in that one.